welcome back to my channel if you are new my name is icy and i'm so happy to have you here so it has been a few weeks i want to say possibly since i last uploaded a video things have been really really crazy it is now almost july and by the time you see this video it's probably going to be july so july in general is always a really busy month just because it's my birthday month it's usually when if i am traveling when i am going to be out of the state or country wherever like that vacation is and i'm actually going to be going to hawaii on saturday i leave for that tomorrow and i still have to pack everything but i really wanted to do another work vlog and just kind of update you guys because there's been a lot of really exciting changes we recently moved into a new office at work so if you have been following my channel for a while, you may know that recently, um, well not recently, but for a while now, my company has been renovating the downstairs office space and it just now became available. Like they just finished everything, I think I wanna say like three weeks ago. So all of the legal assistants, including myself, moved downstairs and it's really, really nice. So you guys are gonna see that. And I'll try to insert like a little bit of a montage, like. A tour of the place because it's really nice. just makes me more motivated to come to work and it's been really cool as well because it's just me and the two other legal assistants the attorneys right now haven't moved in because it's not fully furnished yet and it's nice because we can kind of make it our own space but they are planning to eventually put a ping pong table and other cool little activities like that so that is the biggest update in terms of um my legal assistant journey i guess also forgot to mention yesterday i had a meeting with my manager and i actually asked for a pay raise which i haven't talked about that before and that's something that as a legal assistant i don't really dive into my pay and the financial part of it but i did have a meeting with my manager just because one of the other legal assistants is going to be leaving for law school so the other legal assistant and I are gonna be shouldering most, if not all of her work when she leaves. So we felt it was right that we could ask for a higher rate. So that's really exciting. The meeting went well and I'll keep you guys posted on what ends up happening with the raise if they end up agreeing to it, but she still has to talk to our director of operations before it's finalized. But I just wanted to mention that because that's also an update with the legal assistant front. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's a Friday. We have a lot going on. I have a family dinner after work and then I still have to pack you guys. Like I have everything pulled out as you can see, but nothing is organized. <laughs> like everything is basically just pulled out. Nothing is really packed, so to speak. So I really need to get on that and I'm thinking that I'm just gonna wake up tomorrow morning. My flight tomorrow leaves at 4.30. So I have to drive to Orange County, I wanna say like before noon and arrive to my parents' house because we're all gonna drive together to LAX. So I have to do that and I have like all my bathing suits. Um, hey Google, stop. That is my timer for me to start heading out to work. So we are perfectly on time, but yeah, so that is basically what's going on. We have a work block today. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the packing tomorrow. So this is going to be a Friday work vlog, but it's gonna kind of bleed into a little bit of tomorrow, Saturday, um, when I leave for Hawaii. And of course, I'm gonna be vlogging my Hawaii trip. It's going to be separate. I don't know yet if I'm gonna separate it into parts or just do one big vlog so 
we'll see what happens. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. I'm happy to have you and let's go ahead and have a good day at work. Also, quick little outfit of the day. We are wearing this leopard skirt and my little sandals. They also have a leopard print on them, so I thought that they paired well together. I also got my nails done yesterday just in preparation for my trip. I went with this purple chrome color. I don't know if you could like see it in the lighting, but it kind of gives me mermaid slash um, rainbow vibes. It's really, really really cool there we go yeah you could see it better in this lighting but i am obsessed i love how they turned out i thought it was really good for hawaii but yeah this is our outfit of the day i'm gonna grab my work bag and then we are going to head to work past three I just got on my lunch um, so I wanted to update you guys a little bit on how the day has been going it has been surprisingly busy for a Friday but not in a stressful way it's just that there's a steady workflow a lot of complaints and just filings to do today which I actually really like because it makes the day go by faster but yeah, overall, it's been a really good day. You guys saw a little bit of the new office space, which is nice. Like I mentioned earlier, it's just me and the two other legal assistants. So it is really cool how we have the space to ourselves and it's just quiet and it makes for like a really productive work environment, which I really, really love. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit more about my pay raise because I mentioned it in the beginning of this video and it's not something that I really talk about pay and finances. I do get questions about like how much do you make as a legal assistant and things like that, but I wanted to talk about this topic a little bit more because I do think it is important when you're starting out your career. And just to give you guys a little bit of a context, I graduated from college. I do have my bachelor's degree in political science. It's something that is a new concept for me now as I get further into my career is when to ask for a pay raise and conversations like that can be intimidating especially if you are just starting off and when you are young it can be hard to have those conversations and it can feel a little bit nerve-wracking but I would say something that I think really helps when you are advocating for yourself is to create a list of reasons of why you think you deserve the raise you know give examples you know for example if you feel like your work output and the amount of work you do isn't equivalent to what you're getting paid you know bring certain things like that up and it's also good to talk to I feel like your coworkers or your colleagues and having that transparency I feel like in the work field sometimes there's a little bit of a gray area it's kind of like hush hush not to talk about your pay 
because it can make people feel bad but I feel as though the more transparent you are and the more you know I think that makes you more prepared going into a meeting with your manager or your boss and you can kind of give some reference point for me when I started out as a legal assistant I didn't have any prior experience apart from being a legal intern and then I did work with this law firm now for about a year and a half let's just say and so if you guys have been following me you know that I started out in onboarding and now the work that I do is mostly paralegal work. I don't have my paralegal certificate but I do file complaints and I do work with attorneys directly so I would say even though the title isn't paralegal my work is pretty much equivalent to that and so the other legal assistant and I were talking and we agreed that we do feel like we deserve a pay raise with the type of work we do and also the fact that when we are off hours sometimes we still work and we still like to be available for attorneys now that can kind of lead into unhealthy work boundaries but that's a topic for another time but that is something that i feel like if you really care about your job and you have a really great work ethic of course you don't want to say no to people and you want to make yourself available and you want to take the initiative on things and so i think knowing those things and going into a meeting prepared with examples and also um, preparing for the meeting maybe like pra practicing out loud what you're going to say can really help i will say that i feel very fortunate that i have a manager and i work with a company where i do feel comfortable to have these conversations i know a lot of people are working in companies where raises are denied immediately or they feel like they can't go to their boss for certain things because of just the way the work environment is and the company culture is like so i'm very fortunate that i am with a really great company that for the most part values their employees and likes to reward them accordingly but i just wanted to have that conversation with you guys about you know pay and things like that because especially a young woman in the legal industry and just starting off in the legal field it can be intimidating to talk about money and things like that and advocate for yourself but I will keep you guys posted on how that goes overall though the feedback was really great they were receptive to it and I'll let you know if that ends up happening but yeah I'm really excited that it is Friday it's super hot in the car I don't know if you can tell but I'm kind of sweating a little bit so I'm gonna head inside into the office and cool off because it is a bit of a warmer day but yeah we just have about three hours left of work and then I'm gonna head straight to the family dinner tonight go home and then I still have to pack for Hawaii tomorrow so that's gonna be fun you guys are gonna see probably a montage pack with me but that's the day so far so I'm gonna head inside and then cool off for a bit and then I will probably catch up with you guys after work or who knows when I will see you next but you'll definitely see clips here and there towards the end of the day. happy saturday aka today is the first day of my technically vacation i guess you can call it my flight leaves today at 4 30 p.m i still haven't packed <laughs> so if you guys saw my earlier clips then you know that i am leaving for a very fun family vacation today and i have yet to actually pack for it so that will be interesting to try and get that all together i did wake up early today i mean early for me at least i woke up around seven ish took a shower got my airport plane outfit on and then i also made myself a smoothie i'm trying to use up everything in my fridge so i have successfully done that and i'm feeling really really good i slept so well yesterday just because last night i had a family dinner and drank some wine and just came home and 
literally passed out so I was exhausted from the week and the day and I woke up today feeling really energized and just ready to start packing and start getting everything ready for this trip so the plan is to obviously pack I need to make a list of everything that I want to bring the goal is to get out of here by like 10 30 at the latest and then that way I am at my parents house well before noon or just right around there that is the goal and I'm really excited so I am going to drink my smoothie and then we're gonna get to packing hopefully this isn't too stressful I mean I purposely Okay, I kind of procrastinated, I mean not kind of, but I did procrastinate on packing for this trip just because where I'm going is very tropical and I feel like when you go to tropical destinations, it's a little bit easier to pack just because you're not having to bring a lot of layers and I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna be in my bathing suit and wearing flip-flops and sundresses the whole trip. So I figured it was pretty easy to pack for. Um, so I just brought everything out and then I have my carry-on backpack with me I am going to be bringing my laptop and vlogging camera obviously To document and maybe do some editing so we will see but anyway It is currently 828 so a little before 8 30 a.m. I'm gonna start packing and then we are going to begin this trip So let's get to packing somehow managed to fit everything all of my bathing suits fit in the bag which I'm so happy about and then we've got my clothes here I added a few more items just in case just to give myself options but I am really impressed with myself because I really thought that I would have had to use a second suitcase but actually everything fit really really well so yeah and then we've got the carry-on bag, my cardigan, which I'm gonna wear on the airport or in the airplane in case it gets a little bit chilly. But yeah, we are pretty much good to go. So good on us. ready and packed to go this is my airport outfit got the white comfortable tennis shoes this top i recently got from abercrombie it is so soft and i definitely want to get more of these got our lululemon hat our little bag for wallet keys and phone and then we've got everything all set to go it is actually 9 51 a.m so i'm very pleased by the timing of it because i always feel like i'm running a little bit behind schedule but we're actually early which is 
awesome. So I think I'm going to end the vlog over here and then I'm going to start a new vlog for Hawaii once I get to Orange County. By the time this video goes up, I will be in Hawaii, which is really, really exciting. Like I said, I am planning to vlog that entire trip. It is my first time there. I believe it's also my family's first time there, so it should be really, really fun. We have some really cool activities planned, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this vlog i know we did a lot we did a work vlog we did some packing so quite a bit but i am really grateful to be able to share this with you guys and to just kick start off summer so here is to a fun and safe trip if you are traveling as well then i hope you have a very safe vacation and if you are going somewhere comment down below where you are going or what are your summer plans because i would really love to know and if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe down below and i will see you in hawaii i guess when i pick up the camera bye